Good morning, YouTube. My helper's out here in the shop with me this morning, and she wants to make a birdhouse. Birdhouse is a very kid-friendly project with just a little bit of prep work. Um, essentially, if you can get all of the material to the right thickness um, and width, which is mostly what you're going to be doing on the table saw, then uh, the rest of the cuts are real easy with a safe, relatively safe, hand saw and some supervision. So I went looking for some birdhouse wood and the closest I came up with was this. This is a two by six that I used as a, as a ramp, I think, at one point. Um, it is pressure treated, which is always a good idea for an outdoor project. I, I don't think it's gonna hurt the birds any. Two by six is not, in fact, the size material that we wanna work with. Uh, so let's head over to the jointer and the bandsaw and see if we can't make this into something a little bit more manageable. how these are kind of mirror images of each other? Yeah. That's called a book match. It's because we sawed it down the middle and went like this. Book match birdhouse. Who would have thunk? What would you say is the easiest part of building a birdhouse? The easiest part of building a birdhouse is the design. You know why? Why? Birds don't read magazines. You can make a birdhouse pretty much any way you want. You can make it with a sloped roof. You can make it with a flat roof. You can make it square, you can make it round, you can make almost any shape you want, and it will turn out a birdhouse. <laughs> All right, Madeline, how tall do you want your birdhouse to be? Eight inches. Eight inches, okay. So take your pencil, make yourself a little mark there on the eight. Now this is called a speed square. You know why it's called a speed square? Because it's ready to go. Draw yourself a line across there. Hold the square in place, there you go. Now the construction technique for the birdhouse is really, really simple. Uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the four sides and butt joint them together. We're gonna glue a bottom onto the whole thing and then we're gonna glue a top on that's gonna be considerably bigger. So first things first, we're gonna need four of those. Okay, we're gonna cut this. I know you like the tape measure, but I promised I would show you a trick, right? Yeah. We want all four pieces to be the same as this one, right? So why don't we just use this piece? <laughs> you can't even feel where the seam is? Yeah. So go ahead and use that for your pencil mark. The bottom is going to just glue on to the bottom of the birdhouse. Okay. So you can take your pieces and start to make your birdhouse. The problem with this is that getting it all squeezed together is a little bit a little bit tough. Getting it exact can be hard. It's a whole lot easier if you lay these pieces down and put these pieces together. Yeah. See, now you can put those right up against the end of the board, and you can just slide these up here in a pile and make your line. And you don't have to worry about holding all that stuff standing up. Sweet! It's glue time. This is where the butt joint construction of this project comes in handy because all of your pieces for the sides are the same. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in. And the only thing that's even sort of remotely critical, if you want to call it critical in a birdhouse, um, is that you get the edge even. And uh, if you don't, you can always fix it with sandpaper later. Why don't you take the glue, and we're going to squeeze just a line of glue, like that. Like at school. <laughs> like at school, that's right. So now we're going to take this little stick. We're just going to spread it out a little bit. You do want to use some sort of a weather or waterproof glue on this. I'm using uh, Tight Bond 3. They're going to be outside, unless you want the birds in your house. I take this piece, and we're going to set it right down on top of there, okay? Okay. There, you do it. Pull it by the ends, because the sides are where the glue is going to be. We use our fingers, we line it up. Now for all the strength that you need for a birdhouse, you could just let that sit there under its own weight until the glue dries, and then move on and glue the other side on. If you have no access to clamps or, or anything like that, that's a perfectly good plan. I'm going completely the other direction. I'm gonna use the nail gun. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we're back. We waited for the glue to dry on our four sides. How long did it take the glue to dry, Madeline? Forever. Forever. Well, or about an hour. So you can take it out of the clamps anyway. We have just a box which needs a top and a bottom. The bottom is this piece that we cut based on the measurements of the sides. And it will be, if anything, a little tiny bit too big, which is fine. You can sand plane off the excess or just ignore it. It's a birdhouse. Now, in this part of the glue up, you have the end grain of the board, which is going to soak up a lot of glue. And I want you to set this on there and just line it up as best you can with the edges and the sides. And so basically what we're going to do is just take what happens to be left of the board and we're going to glue it on here, flush with the back, but with an overhang over the side where we'll ultimately drill the hole for the birds to go in. The top. Now, under normal circumstances, I don't wipe off glue squeeze out. I prefer to let it set up into a film and scrape it off. But we're not going to be here. We're going to put this in the clamps and then we're going to go get some lunch. So this is going to dry rock hard and scraping it's not going to be real easy. Plus, this is going to be a painted project, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe not quite that far under. Squeeze! Squeeze! Oh, there you go. Okay, the shell of a birdhouse is done. So now what we've got to do is we've got to mark the holes where we're going to drill so the birds can get in and out. And for this, you know what this is? The perch. The perch, that's right. It's a little 5 8 dowel. It doesn't matter. The diameter is not critical at all. In fact, if you don't have dowel rod laying around, square glued on there will work just fine. So first things first, let's find the middle of this, huh? That's five and a quarter. Two and a half. So two and a half would be half of the five. We have to add another eight. So it's two and five eighths. Two and five. Okay. So here's two and a half, and then this next line is the eighth. So make a pencil mark right there. Remember this? Yeah. Now let's just go ahead and draw a line right down the middle. So now we know our hole and our perch are going to go right on that center line. Why don't we go two and a half down for the bird hole? Make a line right there at two and a half, and we'll go down maybe to five and a half for the perch. Now, clearly, your situation and your comfort level will dictate whether you want to expose your kids to power tools or not. But as power tools go, the drill press is a relatively safe thing, especially if you take the time to clamp down the work. And it always helps to have a helper to clean up. The second hole we're drilling in here is for the perch, so it doesn't yeah, go the whole way through. Just enough to seat the dowel. Glue? <laughs> a little more. There you go. Give it a whack. <laughs> the perch, not the daddy. Cool. And there you have it, one birdhouse. Since we're only looking for birdhouse results, spray paint is a pretty easy finish for kids to deal with. Might take a little getting used to the can, but after that, they're good to go. Okay, YouTube, a couple of coats of paint, and we have ourselves a birdhouse. All that's left is to attach it to the tree. You have a couple of options here. I went ahead and drilled a hole in the back of the birdhouse, and we're just going to screw it right to the tree. But if you don't want to do that, you can just string wire from the two sides and hang it over a branch, whatever suits you. It's in there. I drilled two holes in the bottom of the birdhouse. That does two things. If any water would happen to get in there, uh, whether by rain or made by the birds, gives it a place to come out. Also, it lets a little bit of air flow through there. Uh, when it gets hot in here, air can come up through those holes, come out the opening. So that's going to wrap it up. Nothing better than working with kids in the workshop, even if it's a simple project like a birdhouse. Questions or comments, leave them below. While you're there, think about hitting that subscribe button. And as always, stay safe, YouTube. <sighs> hmm? <Grr. laughs> Grr. With just a little bit of pieces to the table saw, and why am I even talking about all this? <clears throat> Glue time. This is where the uh, beautiful butt, beautiful butt. I didn't. Just, I'm going completely the other. No, just stay here. This isn't so bad. Oh, and if it's like hot, they can just rest on their little perch in the shade under the roof. Just put the glue on. Is it open? I don't know. Works better if it's open. <laughs> yeah, probably. On the plus side, PVA glue is cheap.